Right then, I'm in Spaxton. Something called Splat Lane. And there's Alberta over there. Sign to an ancient church there. Sign to an ancient church there, look. I've never been here before. I've probably driven through Spaxton. I've never actually been here. Um, it's got a village store which looks like a, like a quite a big shed. Spaxton's Community Stores, it says. I'm going to walk down this lane now because um, <sighs> lots of traffic coming. At the bottom of this splat lane, right at the bottom there, there's an ancient church. So I thought I'd do a little video on the way down. There's an old cottage, some old cottages there, look. Look at those pretty flowers there, look. They're pretty, aren't they? I wonder if you can get to the church up there. I bet you can. Well, I'll just walk down the lane, I think. But there's probably a pathway. Some people on horses coming. I don't. It's never very really good videoing um, in the daytime. I'll just turn the camera sideways in a minute when these people go by. Probably in it. Country life, see? If I can get two treasures done today, I'd be better than nothing. I've done Enmore and Goathurst before. I don't need to do them, although it would be nice to do them with a decent camera. We're coming down to the church now. So that was straightforward. See, rather than park Alberta down here and then have to reverse, I've just parked her on the main road. Then I can join up with another village easier in a minute. <coughs> I brought uh, two spare leads for the camera, and I've got it on slow zoom. Doesn't use as much battery. <coughs> So I'm starting to explore over the Bridgewater area, if you like, the other side of Bridgewater area. Um, because there's just churches every mile. Uh, St Margaret's Church, Baxton with Charlinch. Ah, oh, right, okay. So hopefully a service would have been finished by now. Right, over and out for a minute while I take some photos, I think. Or I might walk in. I can get a photo on on the road afterwards. It's, but there could still be a service going on, I've got no idea. That looks like an old barn, doesn't it? Right, St Margaret's then. <sighs> the 
There is a car park, by the way, but anyway, I, I'm alright on the road. It, it's not as if I had to go far. Let's have a look at some of these. There it is, a nice looking church, isn't it? Just what I said, they made, they put built churches everywhere, didn't they? In the past. There's a palmer and a pole. A cook. A dibble. They said it wasn't going to rain today, but it looks very dodgy if you ask me. A lang. <coughs> Won't take long, it's church, not really. A Langdon, a West, a George Parish. Oh, there's another graveyard over there. It's handy to know. I'll have a look around that as well. A yew tree, of course. The old cross. The old Saxon cross. What's that? Chedgy. Chedzy. Ched Chedgy. <sighs> big old tomb there. Another big U over there, look. I'll get photographs of all this in a minute. Looks like a figure on the top, doesn't it? Definitely looks like a figure. Could be pagan. I think this figure's around the whole top. All the way around, probably. And shields here. Oh! The church bell tolls. Must be midday. It's a good start, actually, midday. Should be able to get three churches done before closing time. I'll go in in a minute. What I'm doing, I'll just do the outside first. Do a bit of the outside, take some photos. That is a big old you over there. Like I said there's no graveyard in there. I'll have get a little look round at the, a little look round at that in a minute. Alright, the services will be over. The only thing you get on Sunday sometimes is christenings in the afternoon. Yeah, no, I've never been here. John Porter, never been here in my life. I used to have friends that came from Spaxton who, who were pupils at the school I went to, Westover. They would be bussed in from all the surrounding villages. Yeah, there's probably a car park at the back around the back there. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I shall have to use the flash today. Because the um It's dull. It's very dull. Bishop. Yeah, look at the size of that. That's got to be one of the biggest, nearly one of the widest. Anyway, the one I saw the other day, Ethel Loxton, I think that was the fourth largest U in Somerset or something, but this is pretty big. Stevens. Sounds like the geese playing up. Yeah, I timed it right, really, because there probably would have been a 
well, they take in turns with services sometimes. There's some geese that... Geese there. Eh? Waterman. Elliot. Looks like it's got some stained glass windows inside from the look of it. From the outside there, you can see the... That's uh, the shape of old stained glass. Of course the pictures always come out better when it's a blue sky. That's, this is probably the vicarage, or was the vicarage next door, look. Or the manor house. Yeah, that, that probably, that looks pretty, um, pretty old as well, doesn't it? Yeah, lots of stained glass windows in here. An ancient church it's described as. St. Margaret's. St. Margaret's. Who's up there? Could be French. And Galloway. Reverend James Galloway. 1878, age 67. Yeah, that's a... Either a farmhouse. I should imagine it's a farmhouse. Or it could have been a manor house. If, if the church is ancient, going back in time, see? Because look at the archway there. See, that archway is indicative that it's connected to the church. See? The brickwork and all that old. Yes, there might be something on this afternoon, so it's always a good idea to get in the church before two o'clock. If there's a fest, an event on, then often people come to prepare the place. You never know what name might turn up, though, do you? Thorn. Ber Berger. Diamond. Isaac Diamond. Ellis. That looks a bit out of place, that concrete wall, doesn't it? Right, just take some pictures and I'm going inside. <laughs> 